In this video, I would like to demonstrate how you can integrate the API management system from Xway into, for instance, a Jira system. Um, the purpose of that integration might be to externalize approval workflows, being able to command on requests or something like that in Jira and uh, design a workflow uh, that is suitable for your requirements in that system. And maybe when that workflow in Jira comes to an end, then Jira is even able to talk back to the API management system and maybe approve an API that has been requested to be published. Um, to activate that integration or to set up that integration in a way that I'm using um, API management governance alerts and uh, governance alerts are provided by the API manager and an API administrator can see and manage them in that API manager setting alerts. And then you see here a number of um, governance alerts for application events for when an application wants to access an API. So that means there are a number of situations where you can turn on governance alerts for certain events. And these alerts will be then implemented by policies to do certain things. So um, I'm interested in the API registration events, and I would like to turn on when an alert, when the front-end API is published. This alert is also fired not only when the API is finally published, it is also executed when, for instance, an organization administrator wants to publish an API. So that's why I turned on this alert. Alerts are implemented, as I said, by policies, and policies are designed in Policy Studio. First of all, I go into the server settings, and then I have the section for the API manager. And within here, I see all the alerts you have seen before in API manager in this list. And um, I'm interested into the alert that uh, gives me for the publishing request or for the API proxy published, proxy see the same name as for the frontend API. And this is the linked policy that is then executed. Such a policy gets context injected as every other policy because that filters how we call these um, elements of a policy are accessing that context information and can use it to make decisions or can talk to other system forwarded information. And also alert policy get context information injected. And of course, depending on the alert type, different context is injected. In that case, you see that I get from the alert information, I see, uh, I see the name of the API, I see the ID of the API and so on. Um, I, I used to use the trace filter, put it into my alert policy, to um, review all available or to see all available attributes uh, um, available to my alert so that I can make use of that. I have extended that alert now to create a JIRA issue. For that, I have created a child policy. Um, let's have a look into that. And this one is, of course, using the context information. And the first thing it does, it checks what is the actual API proxy state. And as I said, that API proxy or front-end API published alert is also executed when an API is requested to be published and then the state, which is an additional information, additional attribute, is pending. And this is what I'm checking here. And when the state is pending, I would like to create a JIRA issue. That's why I'm following this path. Then first I'm creating a JIRA, the request body or the post body I'm going to send. And depending on the JIRA REST API, I have to define uh, which project I would like to create um, that ticket in. I would like, or I need to define the issue type. And here you have fully flexibility. You can create issue types as you want. And of course, all the fields you have maybe configured in your Jira system, or you would like to fill with some information, with contextual information or with um, hard-coded information, you can just put it here into the body. And then I'm getting or putting a summary request to approve an API. And then I'm saying that should be the API name and the description of my API is in pending state. Yeah, that's, that should be the description. And then I'm talking to Jira and for that I'm using the connect to URL filter, which goes straight to my um, Jira instance, uh, which normally you would configure in a more flexible way to support st multiple stages. And I'm posting now 
that body I have created here to Jira and I'm using um, a Jira authentication. I have created the system user for that. And then I'm checking with the response status code if the Jira has been created and if not, I'm sending out an email alert to notify uh, the right people that that kind of Jira integration failed for, for whatever reason. Okay, that's um, what you have to do in Policy Studio to set that up. And now I'm switching back to the um, API manager, but now I'm using an organization administrator. And this organization administrator, as explained, can register APIs and he can play around with that APIs, he can configure that APIs, and but he is not allowed ultimately to publish that API. So that's why this API is in state unpublished. And now I'm as, a, as an organization administrator, I would like to say, yes, I'm good with that API and I would like to publish it. And with that, the API is not immediately published. It's, it's switching the state to pending approval. And now two things happen. By default, the, an email notification has been sent to administrators to publish that API. So that means I'm getting here an email um, which, which says the user Alex from organization API development has submitted a request to publish that API and I should uh, review and approve that. And here I can now go straight to the JIRA system. Let's close that and reopen a new one to see that API publishing request. So this is now my issue that has been created. And now I see the API is a pending state, exactly the text, what I have seen. Maybe my template is not perfect. Maybe I need to modify that, but I can now go into the API management system as an API administrator again and say, review that API. Go into the API and then I can see um, that the API here is in state pending approval. I can go now into that API and ultimately I can approve or I can reject that API. Of course, I can stay in JIRA and can review that API, can add a command, the normal things I can do. I can switch it from, from the initial state in JIRA to the next one that uh, likely starts at, as new or, or just requested and then it's in progress and et cetera, PP, so that, that everybody can see how that goes on and I can use all the command features or whatever um, so, so to collaborate with the team, um, how to maybe to modify that API or whatsoever. And if I'm okay, then I can either go directly here in API manager and approve that API and then go back to Jira, some kind of manually, or of course I can also use uh, an alert and close that ticket in Jira that this API is now approved. So let's approve that API and maybe I can change the name and now the API is approved. And of course the requester has now received a notification that this API uh, is approved. And of course I could also use other um, alerts or I could improve the existing alert to send additional information, integrate into other systems and so on. Okay, but this is what I wanted to show, how you can integrate, one way to integrate with um, API management governance alerts as, as an entry point, as a hook into something that happens and you would like to catch in the API management solution, for instance, when a quota is close to overrun or something like that, to actively get a notification. I hope it was useful and thank you.